From. Can you just type where you are connecting from? Welcome, welcome. Thank you, ladies, for the compliments. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can you just type in comments where you are connecting from? Can you just type in comments where you are connecting from? Thank you. We've got Queenstown, South Africa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Makatende Kajayel. Just type where you are connecting from. My daughter Rosemary Tairai, uh, from connecting from Cape Town. Thank you. Tendai Mukadza, you are connecting from Gweru. Patima Dishids are connecting from Jobe. Clementine from Cape Town. Sheila Rutendo from Nottingham, World South Africa. Yvonne Makamba from Westchester, South Africa. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Just type where you are connecting from, just type where you are connecting from. There is a reason why I'm doing this, there is a reason why I'm doing this. Just type where you are connecting from. I can see my daughter, Pastor Gracie Chourani, connecting from Cape Town, welcome. No and love you. my college friend, connecting from Woodburn, South Africa. Thank you very much. I can see uh, we've got South Africa in the house, we've got South Africa in the house. Tawia Damiano, I can see you are connecting right from within this house. Thank you very much, thank you, thank you. Just type where you are connecting from, just type where you are connecting from. Lee Tajga connecting from Namibia, thank you very much, thank you very much. Netsai Sanya Mandwe, you are connecting from UK. Thank you, thank you, my daughter, thank you. Uh, we have got UK, we have got South Africa, we have got Bindura, we have got Harare, we have got uh, Kwekwe, uh, Gweru, Dubai, Caroline Chiguare, uh, Victoria Falls. Um, my young sister, Christine Joseph, you are connecting from Bindura. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, good people. Thank you. The reason why I'm doing this is um, 
we, we were failing to have our live streams because we didn't have um, a separate handset for our Facebook platform and for our WhatsApp platform. I announced it here on Facebook and there are some ladies, uh, some daughters who came up and pledged and uh, we have managed to purchase a separate handset for our Facebook live streams. And I, I want to pray, I want to pray for them. Linda Kama, you are connecting from France. Uh, I want to pray for those ladies. I want to pray for those ladies before we begin our, our prayers. I want to pray for them. Lord, I thank you for every hand that was stretched towards the pitches of these uh, handsets. I thank you. I thank you and I pray and I command a blessing upon each and every hand that was stretched towards um, the feathering of the gospel, the feathering of this midnight cries. Father, I pray that whoever contributed towards this, may you connect them to every country and every nation that is being reached out through this live stream. Every country and every nation that I am reaching out to right now, may you connect all those who contributed towards this handset. May you connect them. May you connect them to UK. May you connect them to South Africa. May you connect them to Dubai. May you connect them uh, globally. May you connect them to France. May you connect them. May you connect them. I declare and I decree open doors for them in those countries. I declare and I decree favor for them in those countries. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for abundance. I pray, Lord, for abundance even in their storehouses. And I pray that through this seed, may they receive transgenerational blessings, transgenerational blessings for their children and even for their grandchildren. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, good ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we couldn't um, have our teaching and our prayers on pleading the blood of Jesus over our careers, pleading the blood of Jesus over our businesses. Uh, so we are, we are having that teaching and having those prayers tonight. Uh, then uh, on Monday, I think I, I, I posted a schedule about our prayers from today up to Thursday next week, but I want you to look forward to our Thursday uh, midnight cry as my spiritual father, Apostle Desmond Gracefold, will be joining us on this platform. He's going to be teaching us about altar sacrifices. Please, please do not miss, do not miss on Thursday. Don't miss the midnight cry on Thursday. Invite loved ones, invite friends. It's going to be a powerful teaching and there's going to be powerful deliverance. Please, please do not miss, do not miss Thursday. Do not miss Thursday. Um, from Monday to Wednesday, we are going to be pleading the blood of Jesus over our marriages, pleading the blood of Jesus over our families, pleading the blood of Jesus over our homes. Uh, it's, it's more like a repetition of a, the house cleansing prayers that we did recently, but still we need to do that. So today we are going to be pleading the blood of Jesus over our careers and over our businesses. So I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 2 verse 15 Genesis chapter 2 verse 15 thank you Jesus Christ thank you spirit of the living God Genesis chapter 2 verse 15 then the Lord God then the Lord God I want you to mark that then the Lord God then the Lord God I want you to mark that then the Lord God took the man then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden. It is the Lord God. It is not the HR manager. It is not an uncle whom you know in a company. It is not the CEO of the company. It is not the MD of the company. But the Bible is saying, then the Lord God, then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. So, I know a lot of people, when you think of applying for a job, when you think of starting a business, 
you 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 start to think whom do i know in that organization whom do i know in that company because these days people say it's all about who you know it's all about in that company in that organization are in that business but the bible is saying then the lord god then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden. It is not the HR manager. It is not somebody whom he knew, but it is the Lord God who took him and put him in the garden of Eden. So from today, I want you to shift your focus. I know you are, we are praying for your career. I know some of you, you are praying even for a job breakthrough. I know some of you are praying for a business breakthrough. I want you to shift your focus from trying to find whom you know in that line of business trying to find whom you know in that company, trying to find whom you know in that organization and shift your focus to God. Shift your, your focus to God and put your faith and your trust in God. For the Bible is saying, then the Lord God took the man and placed him in the garden. It is God who is going to, to, to take you and place you on your rightful seat. It is the Lord God who is going to take you and place you in the right line of business. It is the Lord God who is going to take you and place you on your destined seat it is the lord god who is going to do that it is not a human being it is not an uncle or an aunt whom you know but it is the lord god who is going to do it for you so from today i want you to shift your focus i want you to shift your trust because but at the end of the day it didn't work but from today i want you to trust in the lord i want you to shift your focus from people to god Words, even in your business, even in your career, because promotion does not come from God. It comes, it does not come from men. It comes from God. Even Adam basarake rekutanga raka shanda akatori chagirwa na mwari mini mwari ndiwa vane ro ne responsibility ya kuchagira munu basa. Mwari ndiwa vane ro ne responsibility ya kusimu za munu vachimu gazi kapavane ngevada. Vachimu gazi kapavano ziva panema capabilities ake. Vachimu gazi kapavano ziva pano unza breakthrough to his family. It is the Lord God who is going to do it for you. It is not about whom you know. It is the Lord God who is going to do it for you. I know you, you are praying for a job breakthrough in this um big organization. You are praying for a break, job breakthrough in this big... You have been worried. Could it, Am I going to make it? Because I don't know anybody in that organization. Because I don't know anybody in that company. But I'm here to tell you tonight, it's not about the person whom you know, but it's about the God whom you serve. It's about the God whom you know. It's about the God whom you believe in. It's about the God whom you trust in. It is about the Lord. It is about the Lord. Your breakthrough is not going to come from the places where you are expecting it to come from, but it is going to come from above it is going to come from the lord himself the lord is going to take you and place you in your own garden of eden so i just want you to say lord take me and place me in my garden of eden take me and place me on my rightful seat take me and place me in my right line of business take me and place me where i will prosper take me and place me where your grace will, will take me through I just want you to say that. I just want you to say that. I just want you to say that. So we are going to we are going to meditate and we are going to read some scriptures as we, we go through our teaching before we get into our prayer. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 13. And the Lord will make you, and the Lord will make you the head. I want you to listen to this. And the Lord, and the Lord. Apanambonzi the HR manager, Apanambonzi the CEO, Apanambonzi the MD of a company. But the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not be beneath if you hearken to the commandments of the Lord your God. But I want you to listen to this. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. Meaning the Lord 
can promote you. The Lord is the one who can promote you even at your workplace. It is the Lord who has the responsibility of elevating you. It is the Lord who has the responsibility of promoting you. But there is a certain condition. There is a condition to your promotion. There is a condition to your elevation. For the Bible is saying, and, and and the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not be beneath. If you hearken to the commandments of the Lord, if you hearken to the commandments of the Lord, that is the condition. So, I know many of you, you are expecting elevation, you are expecting promotion, you are expecting an increase even in your salary. But the Lord is saying, only if you hearken to the commandments, only if you hearken to the commandments of the Lord your God. I do not put example. You could in a certain company, we not gonna kunge makawanta. Mese mune a similar post, a similar position. But pano ano mwe muno, I not gonna nga achi tampira a salary iri above others. The reason why? What is the reason? What is the reason behind that? Because that person hearkens to the commandments of the Lord. And many of you will be wondering, huh? We are ano bofe verwechi. What is happening? Why is he getting a higher salary than us? Why? Because he is hearkening or she is hearkening to the commandments of the Lord your God. So your elevation, your increase in, in at your workplace, your increase even in your business is going to be best, is going to be pinned on your hearkening to the commandments of God, on you abiding according to the will of the Lord, on you being righteous and clean before the Lord. So the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, meaning even if if you are expecting a promotion, the condition is for you to hearken to the commandments of the Lord first. The condition is for you to hearken to the commandments of the Lord first, for you to be righteous, for you to be clean before God. You are expecting a, a rise in your business. You are expecting an expansion of your territory in your business line. But the condition is still the same. You are supposed to hearken to the commandments of the Lord your God first. For the Lord to make you the head. You are going to be the leading. You are going to be leading in your line of business. But it's, it is going to be pinned on your hearkening to the, to the commandments of God. It is going to be pinned on, on your righteousness. It's going... It is going to be pinned on, on your cleanliness before the Lord. So today I just want you to, to go before the Lord and say, God, forgive me. I want to start afresh. I want to make it in my career. I want to make it in my business. I have seen where I was going wrong. But today I repent. I just want to be right with you. I just want to hearken to your commandments. From today I'm going to abide by your rules. I'm going to abide by your laws. I'm going to abide by your commandments. So that you can promote me. So that you can elevate me. So that you can expand my territory. Joshua chapter 1 verse 3 Joshua chapter 1 verse 3 Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I have given you Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I have given you As I said to Moses This is what the Lord is saying But we still go back to Deuteronomy it is going to be based on your hearkening to the commandments of the Lord. For you to cheat on a certain land and possess is going to be based on your righteousness. So the Bible is saying every place that the sole of your feet will cheat upon, I have given you. The reason why some of us are not making it in our businesses, the reason why some of us are not making it in our careers is because of fear. We have got this fear within us. Even when you are called for an interview, you have got this fear within you. Even when you enter the interviewing room, you have got this fear in you. But today, I am coming to tell you and to encourage you that Pese every place that your feet are going to trod on, every place that your, the sole of your feet is going to tread upon, the Lord is going to give you to possess it as long as you abide according to his commandments. So as you are going for an interview, as you are going for your business, as you are going to 
to, to, to create a deal, a business deal. I just want you to bear this in mind. As long as my feet are going to cheat on my business premises, as long as my feet are going to cheat in the interviewing room, I am going to possess. As you basa kuti ku interview my inter my madai is wamuri hundred. As you basa kuti ku interview my dai is wamuri a thousand. As long as you declare and decree this word, as long as you meditate upon this word, good God, you said every place that I treat upon with my feet, I am going to possess. Right now, I'm going for my interview. Right now, I'm going for my business. As long as my feet treat on that place, God, I'm going to possess. The vacancy is mine. The post is mine. You meditate, you meditate, you declare and decree that word and the Lord will establish it because the, the Lord God says, my word does not come back, does not come back to me void, but it accomplishes the purpose for which I send it. That is what he says in Isaiah. So if he says every place that your soul are going to treat on you shall possess, it means wherever you are going to be called, maybe for an interview, maybe for a tender, maybe for a business deal, it's yours. It's yours. The mistake that they can ever make is to invite you. If they ever invite you, that's the greatest mistake that they can make. Because as you treat on that land, as you treat in their premises, you are possessing. So even Uchipinda could get the company, Uchipinda could interview, begin to declare, I possess this premise. I possess this company. I possess this post. The post is mine. Don't be intimidated by the faces that are going to be there in the waiting room but it's very good to in the into the interview for that same post don't be intimidated just be declaring waka garage just be declaring i am going to possess because in that sika pan on it zangu mari i am going to possess just because in that shika pan on it zangu i'm going to possess don't be intimidated because i know a lot of people muno so pinda mu interview mato panika because you 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 are intimidated nema faces you are intimidated never interview you are intimidated never qualifications but Whatever anger could not detronomy, I could not bonzi because of your qualifications. The Lord is going to make you the head. But Kwangwanzi, the Lord is going to make you the head and not the tail. Not because of your qualifications, not because you have got a master's degree, not because you have got a PhD. When that first degree rako iroro, unotori wana basa muna ne PhD achiri shaya. Why? Because you you are meditating upon the Lord, the word of God, and as you meditate meditate upon it. God watches over his word to perform it. So it's a matter of giving God back his word and he will perform it and he will fulfill it in your life. Yes, don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated. Then verse 5, Joshua chapter 1 verse 5, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. No man no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Do pande tawran city as nambonzi no man with less qualifications than you. Zangwanzi no man. You know kwa yen tabana Joshua achiudwa masho kwaya. Do kwanga kwa tauro kuti kune ma giants. Do kwanga kwa tauro kuti kune kune ma amalekites. Do kwanga kwa tauro kuti kune varume wita kuze varume. But the Lord God is telling Joshua that. I am going to be with you and no man is going to be able to stand before you. So I don't care what you are shika mu waiting room. Ukawana mine muna kuti ndine PhD. I don't care what you are shika mu waiting room. Ukawana mine muna kuti ndine tuma master's degree. I don't care what you are pinda mu business. Ukawana kuine muna arkuna oda kuteki. Iwachiru ku oda ku South Africa. All I know is the Lord is saying no man shall be able to stand before you, meaning you are going to be the leader, you are going to be the head, you are going to be above and never beneath, it doesn't matter the qualifications, God qualifies the unqualified God called Esther who was an orphan and qualified her to become a queen, why can't he qualify you in that organization why can't he qualify you in that company, why can't he qualify you in that line of business, 
If God could take Mephibosheth from Lodi Banjimbo Yakanjizika, but you pinza mu palace pate boya ijganamambo. Can you not do the same for you? Can he not promote you? If God could take David, Kuvakuna Fudza Makwai, Matikoma Ari Koku Hondo, but you promote her to become the king. Can he not qualify you? If God could call Gideon and say mighty man of Vela, but kuna madzikoma eku extended family. Kuna madzikoma even emu pamavo. Wafa you are going to fight for Israel. Can God not do that for you? Even if you are not qualified, God is going to qualify you for that position. Even very poor PhD on a diploma, the Lord is going to qualify you because He is the Lord of impossibilities. Because He is the Lord God who qualifies the unqualified. So from today, I don't want my Hannah baby to be intimidated. I don't want my Hannah child to be intimidated. I don't want my Hannah baby to be intimidated by the Amalekites. I don't want that. Have that confidence in you. Declare and decree the word of God. Eat the word of God. Feed on the word of God. And in any situation, begin to meditate. Begin to declare and decree the word of God. Begin to give God back his word. And he watches over it to accomplish it. He watches over it to perform it. So that is verse 5. That is verse 5. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Then verse 7 and 8. Only be strong and very courageous. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all Oh, that you may observe to do according to all. As the part, you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. All the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or end or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. Do you see? We are still going back to Deuteronomy. We are still going back to Deuteronomy observing the laws of God, observing the commandments of God. So whenever you are praying for prosperity, you should know that prosperity in somebody's life is pinned on righteousness, is pinned on observing the commandments and the law of and the laws of God. So God is saying to Joshua, if you want to prosper where you are going, and if you want me to be with you like I am promising, you should observe all all the laws of Moses, not part of the laws, because we have got people. Vanetika yek observer jime, jime vasinga observe. Tinevan vanetika yek ufunga tu kune chivi chidi kikudari kachimwe chivi. Tinevan vanofunga tu kune mite mwe mwe no gona kuchkorwa as kune mwe singa gona kuchkorwa. But God is saying to Joshua, observe all the laws, observe all the laws. So as I'm ministering, I know some of you are beginning to realize where you are missing it. Some of you are beginning to realize Pakado Nerademorako. Because Nerima Zuva Prophet Vayenda Kuna Chagama Mama Mama Tanda and Demora Kawira Mumvura Munuamara no Goya Chiti Nonga Zera Pawira Demorako and Munu Munu Parku Nonga Zera Pawira Demo and Demora Katanga Kuflota as the man of God pointed on on, on the spot. So Jandruku told and shop as I am ministering. Discover and realize Kuti Rangu in any demo Rukuira papi, demo re business Rangu Rukuira papi, demo re carrier Yangu Rukuira papi. Can our realizer begin to amend, begin to amend, begin to mend your ways, begin to make it right with God? Because God is saying all the commandments. So, Ipa Papo Shanga Kufunga, which commandment am I not? Uh, uh, am I not? Uh, abiding according to which commandment the ship is and look who can the ship is and this look who go on then begin to make it right begin to tell it to god take it to god say god i know i've messed i know i've messed but i repent i repent before you i just want to prosper your prosperity is based on you hearkening to the commandments and all the laws of god this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. But you shall meditate in it day and night. 
that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then will you make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. So if you are expecting good access, if you are expecting good success, first ngati zokere kumitemu. Ngati tange ita zokera kumitemu. Tombo notari sa kutipati siruku gwanande papi. Pa ita kutitidone. Then we make it right. That's why we had a week of repentance and forgiveness. That's why we had a, a, a week of confessions. Why? Because we wanted to make it right with God. We cannot plead the blood of Jesus over something when we know that we are not, our relationship with God is not right. So first we have to make it right with God. Then we begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Job chapter 22, verse 28. Job chapter 22, verse 28. You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you. You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you. You will declare a thing, and it will be established to you. Do panashoroti, even that I ku interview, I should have my scriptures that I meditate, that I decree and declare as I am on my way. Even should I sign a deal, even should I sign a contract, I should have some scriptures that I meditate upon, that I declare and uh, I decree and I declare that I meditate on. The, the Lord God is saying, you will declare a thing and it will be established. Mufunto wangu ndi wakuti pamaka dais waku interview. Makainta mchiti chini. Pamaka dais waku nzu uyaitite meeting ya kutiti ite design this deal. Makainta mchiti chini. What verse, what scripture were you meditating upon? What declaration and decree were you making? Were you giving God back his word so that he could watch over it? O makainta makanyarara. O makainta mchivunda. Mchifungota, ah, kuti ndino no wina, kuti jino no ita, kwantika wana kune vari nani than me. But to, from today, I want you to learn this. Learn to decree and declare the word of God over every situation. Ndichienda ku interview, I'm going to be the head and not the tail. I'm going to come out victorious. I'm going to possess. As I step my feet in that interview room, I possess, I possess, I possess. You should learn to decree and declare what you want. You should learn to decree and declare your desired goal. You should learn to declare and decree your your desired um, outcome, your desired testimony, your desired breakthrough. Don't keep quiet. My father usually says a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Many of you have got closed destinies because your mouth is closed. You are not declaring. You are not decreeing. You should learn to declare and decree. Then Isaiah Isaiah 48 verse 17. Isaiah 48 verse 17. That says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord, your God. Who teaches you to profit? Who teaches you to profit? Now I'm talking to those people who are in business. The Lord, I am the Lord, your God. Who teaches you to, to profit? So why are you not profiting in your business? Why are you not making it in your business? Who is teaching you because if it is the Lord who was teaching you, you are going to profit. So, why are you not profiting? Who is your teacher? Who is your teacher in your business? Because the Lord is saying, I will teach you to profit. I will teach you to profit. So, if you are not making it in your business, who is your teacher? Who is teaching you? I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit. Who leads you by the way you should go? Meaning if you, 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 you don't go the way that the Lord uh, expects you to go. If you don't go the way the Lord is leading you to go. You are not going to profit. You, you're making profit in your business. is based on are you taking the path that the Lord is leading you? Are you following as the Lord leads or you are leading and you are saying, God, follow, follow behind me? Who is your teacher? Because if the Lord is your teacher, you are going to, you are going to make profit. If the Lord is your teacher, he is the Lord who teaches you to profit. 
So if you want to profit in your business, allow God to be your teacher. How do you allow God to be your teacher? Allow his servants to teach you. Allow his servants to speak a word over your life. Allow his servants to give you direction. Many of you makatanga ma business, but umfunzo wangu wangu tu uchitanga business rako, who prayed for you? Uchitanga business rako, diana kakuzo eti, this is the right business. Ndoshan sinama ruite, who told you that this is the right thing for you to do is the lord leading in your business or marivari kumashure you know kuna muna anoso kufonera apa boda rekumesina evangelist and in a capital yangu ya ndakawana right now to tori pa boda rekumesina ndafunga kuenda kuno order is the lord leading you kanoti marivari kutera kumashure then who is going to teach you to profit in that business so I think Nditchi did this. I could I somebody Anisha Rukubata. Then um third John chapter one, third John chapter one, verse two, third John chapter one, verse two. Beloved, this is my prayer for you. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. That is my prayer for every Hannah. That is my prayer for every Hannah who is praying for career. That is my prayer for every Hannah who is praying for a business breakthrough. My prayer is that, is that you, 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 you may prosper in all things. You may prosper in all things. Because if I say you may prosper in your business, if you prosper in your business but your marriage is crumbling, if you prosper in your career but your your, your, your health is crumbling it will not it will not it will not it will not bring you any peace my prayer is for you to prosper in all things my prayer is for you to prosper in all things in your career in your marriage in your health in your relationships so that the lord can give you a testimony that adds no sorrow to it because god gives testimonies and adds no sorrows to them first john chapter 5 Verse 14. First John chapter 5, verse 14. Now this is the confidence we have in him. Now this is the confidence we have in him. That if we ask anything, that if we ask anything but according to his will, that if we ask anything but according to his will, he hears us. As you are praying for a career breakthrough, as you are praying for a business breakthrough, are you praying according to his will? Are you praying according to his will? Because if, if we pray according to his will, he hears us. So if we don't pray according to his will, he doesn't hear us. So... I think some of you are being answered now. Even when you know no matter, kugomonti no yenda kutsanya ndi no tsanya but apana zvaita. If you were praying according to his will, he was going to hear you. If you were praying according to his will, he was going to hear you. So why is he not hearing you? Why is he not answering your prayers? Because you are not praying according to his will. How do I pray according to his will, evangelist? Last week, that in order for you to pray according to the will of God, you are supposed to have the word of God in your mouth. You are supposed to have the word of God on your fingertips. You are supposed to have the word of God even... You are supposed to have the word of God in your blood. That is the only way we can pray according to his will. Because his will is his word. His will is in his word. And he will only grant us his promises according to his word. So, the reason why some of you come to my inbox, evangelist, are you praying according to his will? Are you running your business according to his will? So how do I pray according to his will? Jacob prayed according to the will of God on his way to Laban's place. 
Pakaita wapeza akarota akatsamira dombo there is something chaka mukakaita you woke up and you prayed and you made a vow with god akati mwari mukanti tunga mirira ndikaenda kwantiri kuenda ndikadzoka ndiri mupenyu i am going to give you a tenth of everything that i earn and because of that vow just making a promise to god that i am going to tithe I am going to give back 10% to you. God washed over Jacob. Jabuti Jacob ayenda aingo rine ne mentor yake chete. On his way back, just Jacob and he had men, he had children, he had his wife, he had flocks, he had heads of cattle, he had camels, he had everything. Why? Because there is a vow ya angaita. So the reason why some of us are not prospering in our careers, the reason why some of us are not making it in our business, are you praying a According to the will of God, because when God wants to bless you, when God wants to bless you, He first checks if I bless this person, what will I get in return? What will my kingdom get in return? Marwanda ku bless era era kuti Maria ko yese ino perera ku bawa. Marwanda ku bless era era kuti Maria ko yese ino perera mu beauty parlor. Pasina kana one day ra uno boranga ra ukuti le gandi ende se senti irikwa jehova. The reason why God blessed Jacob is anga aita evao. Anga aita evao of being a kingdom financer. Anga aita evao of being a kingdom partner. Mufunzo wangu wakuti pamuru kuna mata, pamuru kukumpira, muru kukumpira, muchu uza mwari, rekuti mwari. I'm making this vow. You know, there, there is something about a prayer that has a vow in it. If you check Hannah's prayer, we are Hannah type of a woman. Hannah achipinda mutempo, achina mata, achida Samuel. There is a vow that she made. God, if you give me a child, if you give me a son, I'm going to give him back to you. That was a vow. That was a vow. That was a prayer according to the will of God. And God says, how can I not, how can I not bless her if she's going to give the son back to me? I'm not talking about a seed. I'm talking about a vow. A vow. Making a vow with God. I know could a seed you may not have you may not even have money you may not even have the money to 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 seed but if you make a vow mari if you give me this job i'm going to do abc mari if you give me this job i'm going to do this for you just a vow just a vow god will watch over his word to perform it so mufunzo wangu ndi wakuti imimi pamuru kuna mata Pamuru kuna mata. Are you praying according to the will of God? Have you ever wamboshi kawe re pastage ye kuti? Because hana akatonati. I've been coming here every year. I've been praying for this every year, but still I remain fruitless. What am I supposed? What can I do to move God? Then she decided to make a vow. Are you making a vow with God? What is your vow? Are you praying according to the will of God? No pande toran cheating. A prayer without the word of God is like a, a gun without bullets. It's like a, a gun without bullets. It's like a gun that is not loaded. It cannot shoot. So if you, you are just praying, because God wants to know, do you know my promises? Do you know my promises? What did I promise you? What did I say about your situation? If you know and you give him back his promise, he is faithful. He is faithful to give you what you desire. Because the Lord says, Who of you angati manaka kumpira chingwa ano mupadombo? Diana angati manaka kumpira ove ano mupanyoka. So if you know to give your children shavane ngeva kumpira, watch more me, your father. So mufunzo wangu ndiwe kuti, do you know what God promised pertaining to career? Do you know what God promised pertaining to business? Do you know what God promise the pertaining to your destiny are you giving god back his word are you giving god back his word do you know the promises to know those promises you have to know the word of god to know those promises you have to know the word of god and to pray according to the will of god you have to know the the the, the, the word of god so if we ask
ask, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions we have asked of him. Then Psalm, Psalm 145 verse 18, the Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth, in truth, in truth, in truth. So, mufunzo wangu ndewe kuti, evangelist shukuita unge mwariwari kure kure neni. Ah, kugomo ndino uya evangelist kuma all night ndino uya. But mwariwani takunge wari kure kure neni. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. To all who call upon him in truth, in truth. Yes, kugomo muno uya. Yes, kuma all night muno uya. Yes, kutanya muno tanya. But is it in truth? Is it in truth? Because if it was in truth, the Lord was going to hear you. Psalm 20 verse 4. That's my prayer for you. Psalm 20 verse 4. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all all your purpose and fulfill all your purpose, not part of your purpose, but all your purpose. Psalm 37, verse 3. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Ipapapa pane nyayap. Pane nyaya ipapapa. Trust in the Lord. Whom do you trust in? And a applier basa kudiota. Nekuti kuna tete wangu wano shanda yiko kwa ntiti applier juno toita. Evangelist nda applier basa. Uh, kuke Zimbabwe. Nekuti kuna anjadzi yangu ino shanda yiko kwa yato ntiti juno itachete. Meaning your trust is in your aunt. Your trust is in your uncle. Kutindua wano kufurira dore basa. The Bible is saying trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Don't trust in that uncle. Don't trust in that aunt. But put your trust in the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord. This, this story. This guy apply for a job in this company. I'm going to be part of the interviewing crew. So don't worry. You are going to make it. The guy applied. The guy went for the interview. I could have pinned a EM interview. But I didn't work at the one in Mudumbu. The way they go toilet, go gents. We can wait thirty minutes. Where are the gents? We can do a pinned interview. I can question, I can question, I can question. But I didn't work at he failed the interview. Why? Because he was trusting in a man. He was trusting in a human being. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. And apply, but your trust should be in the Lord. And apply, but your trust should be in the Lord. The reason why you didn't make it is because your trust was in a human being. Your trust was in men. Put your trust in God. Put your trust in the Lord. And do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Trust in God and feed on his faithfulness. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way. Because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 3 to 6. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Wapindamu interview. Tell the truth. What are you capable of doing? I can do this and this and this and this. There is no point in lying. There is no point in exaggerating your capabilities. There is no point in exaggerating your qualifications. Let mercy and truth not forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Uchenda ku interview and waka sungiri la chokwa di muru mako. Never lie. And so, find favor and high esteem 
and so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and men. In the sight of God and men. Trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. You couldn't explain. Then, for those who are praying for promotion, for those who are praying for promotion, Genesis Genesis thirty nine verse two to four. Genesis thirty nine verse two to four. Genesis chapter thirty nine verse two to four. Genesis thirty nine verse two to four. The Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. Who is with you? Who is with you? Vamwe vedu tine maduma. Atino enda taka sungiri rakubasa. Because into that promotion. Vamwe vedu tine enda taka zora mafuta taka piwa kwa sekuru ningi. Because into kuda promotion. But Genesis 39. Yang what the Lord was with Joseph. It was the Lord who was with Joseph. Ndosa anda vunza nikatu who is with you. Who is with you or what is with you? Jisha makai samu omwe, jisha makai samu chikwama, jisha makai samu bachi, jisha makai samu handbag. Jiriku kupereke zaipamu kuda promotion kubasa. Shanti ne Bible, Genesis 39 verse 2. The Lord was with Joseph and he was a successful man. Joseph was a successful man simply because God was with him. Joseph was a successful man simply because God was with him. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw, and his master saw that the Lord was with him. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. Muno ziva here kuti, kune unu pabasa, unu ita kuti umari, uone kwe kuburiki zanewe. Muno ziva here kuti, kune unu pabasa, unu ita kuti umari wa uone kwe kuburiki zanewe. But kune unu pabasa, unu ita kuti sata na uone kwe kuburiki zanewe. Kune unu pabasa, unaita kuti satani ne madimona ake, vawonekwe kuburiki zanewe. Yes, muruku da promotion. But, marivari kuwane kwa ere, kuburiki zanemi, pabasa pamuri. Marivari kuwane kwa ere, kuburiki zanemi, mu business ramuri. Munaita business, reku chita vanu, mchiva bira jinu jao. Right now, you never know how to count your kuya ku inbox. Evangelist, the new zwa ne muna nonzi rana. The two mira ten thousand runs yangu ku South Africa. Evangelist, apana cha uya ende rana acha to bati kato zima phone. Diana arkuone kwa mu business renu. Vanu wakakutari sa ikuba sa kwa muno shanda. Do they see God? Do they see the hand of God or they see the devil? The Lord was with Joseph. Jaguti, even his boss could see that the Lord is with this man. Dona kuti pave never cut zivari pano paana. Who are so saturated with the presence of God in them that even kumabasa kwavano shanda, your own boss can see that this woman, the Lord is with her. Kuvapa makapinda pabasa. Kamba ni akatanga uda iso. Juna kuchikune vani wakadaru. Achipinda basa pa kampan. Chero mama masalari za anu tanga kuzikiswa. Achipinda basa pa kampan. Chero ma sales anu tanga kuzikira. Chero ma profits anu tanga kuzikira. Shofa shawone kwa kutimuarava apapa. Apapaka to gara sata na to ya kuzo paradza business apu. Mufunzo wangu ndavunza, ndavunza, and I'm still asking. Diani ano one kwa pabasa pamuno shanda. Vanu wakakutari sai, do they see God or they see the devil? Mu business renyura muru kuita. Vanu wakakutari sai, do they see God or they see the devil? Mu 
Joseph was so saturated with the presence of God. He was so saturated with the favor of God that even the boss, when he looked at him, he could tell that the Lord is with this man. Achipinda basa, junuja potifa, shakatanga kuita fall into place. Achipinda basa, kana panga pane business, raiunza ma profits, ma profits akatanga kupinda. Achipinda basa, kana. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. So I, could, I just want you to make this prayer. God and Spirit of the Living God, fill me, saturate me, that even my boss, even my employers, they can see you through me. They can see your hand through me. The Lord was with Joseph and he was a successful man and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian, and his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all he did to prosper in his hand. So Joseph found favor in his sight. Do for promotion up. And saved him. Then he made him overseer of his house. Why? Because Umari wanga waone kwa kuburiki zanae. Joseph was promoted because Umari wanga waone kwa kuburiki zanae. Panonzi nevamwe, ngati furei pataka sungiriwa. What do you do? You join them. Panonzi nevamwe, ahi nini kubasa kwangu ndinoto tora. Because pay yacho haitombo kwani. Ofu wata asaka nenio. But Umari waka waone kwa muna Joseph. I am going to make you an overseer. Joseph received promotion. Joseph was elevated because his master, his boss could see God through him. Boss makatanga ku experience a favor ya mwari kuburiki zana Joseph. How? In, in, in this current day, panenge paina fei Arkuenda kubasa. Arenda kubasa. Akatampira pei yake. Ano no visa che gumi. Because a visa che gumi. Marivano visa ujgi. Kumba kwake. Vodzoka vozo visa ujgi. Mukampanya kamu employer. Kuti fei agwane kuwezeru wa pei. Kuti fei agwane kuwezeru wa salary kubasa. So that, that blessing of overflow. Yaka promise kwa kuna malakai for those who are tithers. Ino zoka, yoduru wa mumba mafei, but kutii zoduru wa mumba mafei, inenge ya changa ya no duru wa kukampa ni kwake, kukampa ni kwake ndo kwa zoya and overflow that she cannot store in a storehouse. Ndengo vunza ndikati, imimi kubasa kwenye umari wano one kwa oere. Bosu wako atanga ku experience ma blessings ekuti wewe you are employed in that company ere. Amu vunzo. Tukungo zizi sana. Tukungo zizi sana ebu. You want promotion. You want promotion. But mwari wari kuwane kwa ere. Kuburiki zanewe. The moment wani wachitanga kuwana mwari kuburiki zanewe. God is going to elevate you. So, that is Genesis chapter 39, verse 2 to 4. So Joseph found favor in his sight and saved him. Then he made him overseer of his house, and all that he had, he put under his authority. Then Psalm 75, Psalm 75, verse 6 to 7. For exaltation comes neither from the east, nor the west, nor from the south, but God is the judge. He puts down one and ex exalts another. Mufunzo wangu ndiwe kuti. Mari, wawar kunzi, he puts down ndiyani. Wawar kunzi, he exalts ndiyani. Ndukungo mufunza. Vamwevenyu, you were even makatois kwa pasi na mari. Vachi promoter somebody else god is the judge god is the judge he puts down one and exalts another 
So promotion ni ya muru kudai. Muka ziwa kuti promotion ni enyo aibvi kuna MD. Promotion ni enyo aibvi kuna CEO. But promotion ni enyo ino tangira in the spiritual realm. Muno tanga ma promote wa namari. Muno tanga ma promote wa namari. Mwari wazo enda wano programa mind ya MD. Wazo enda wano programa mind ya HR kutaka kupromote. Maizo ziva kuti amai fund wakufura makumbo kuti boss wakupromote. Amai fund wakufurira manager makumbo kuti wakupromote. But mai enda to the owner, the main owner of that organization. Momu uza uti ininda kuda promotion. Mwari wazo enda wano programa. Pass up so that they can exalt you. We have got a lot of people here. You wanted promotion to an extent you You wanted promotion to the extent you to file a false report against somebody. You filed that report. If you knew that promotion does not come from men but from God. Your promotion does not start with the HR. Your promotion starts in the spiritual realm with God. So garai pasi mutaure na vomari. Garai pasi muva wudze muridzwe kampan. Kuti izindo janda kudamari. I now want this position. Go and program this my petition in the minds of my bosses. Luke chapter 19, verse 17. And he said to him, Well done, good servant, because you were faithful in a very little. Have authority over ten cities. That is promotion. Because you were faithful in a very little. You have authority over ten cities. Are you faithful at your place of work? Are you faithful at your Vamwe venu makato makato seter wama traps? Vachidaku kutesta. What kind of a person are you? If I promote this person, can she handle it? Can he handle it? Do vamato poronga. You proved that you were not capable. This servant Arkunz, because you were faithful in a very little, have authority over 10 cities. So if you can't be faithful with the little in your company, they cannot promote you because you cannot be capable to be faithful in the in 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 in, in much. Totokaje, even kunyaya yeche gumi. Kana musinga gwone kuwa faithful pa chegu micha muru kuwana pa salari ya muru kuwana kubasa muri pa position ya muri. God cannot trust you to be faithful in your tithe kana mazo promote wa mainda pa position ya muru kudai. Muru kuwana ere utinyaya yedu ino ngoramba ichi zokaje kushokora mari. Ino ngoramba ichi zokaje kuti kuna maru kumuru kumbo itasei. Saka promotion ni enyu inga dei ya kawuya. Dei mwariva kanga vaona utu you are faithful in the little that he is giving you. Because you would know that you can also be faithful even if I give you much. Do you want to, you, you want promotion? I hope you are learning. You want promotion? I hope you are learning. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For he knows the plans that he has for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So God wants to prosper you. God wants to prosper you. But only if you abide according to his will. Numbers chapter 6 verse 24 to 25. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. That's my prayer. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 11. Bless his substance, Lord, and accept the work of his hands. Strike the loins of those who rise against him and of those who hate him, that they rise not again. That is my prayer also for you. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 13. And he will love you and bless you, and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your land, your grain and new wine, and your oil, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flock. 
that is my prayer for you that is my prayer for you now we are getting to our prayers now we are getting to our prayers now we are getting to our prayers i want you to have your photocopies i want you to have your photocopies Tatanga. photocop please photocopies strictly photocopies if you have got only the original copy please don't take it because you may manifest ugo dambura certificate iroro nekuti satan has kutombo fara kuti unaro certificate iroro that is why i'm saying photocopies please get your photocopies if you are in business take something that you are going to use as a point of contact for your products for your business products if you are in business something that you can use as a point of contact for your business products before we start once you have those things just type i have just type i have once you have those things just type i have once you have those things just type i have Thank you, Messi Tendai Mapfumo, Priscilla Kenneth, Christine Mugadza. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm still waiting for others. I'm still waiting for Chedzam Juru. Thank you. Wendy Irumbi Zai Mutusha, Gertrude Mudede, Miriam Maboda, Makatende Kajayao, Juliet Shire. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, Takutanga, we Takutanga Ma Prayer Zedu. We are starting our prayers. I, I just want you to repeat this prayer with me. I just want you to repeat this prayer with me. Oh Lord, I thank you for the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I apply the blood of Jesus upon my head, upon my hands and legs to saturate my body and my destiny. I apply the blood of Jesus to break and scatter every yoke of bondage upon me by fire devil i resist you by the blood of jesus i put a seal of the blood of jesus upon my life from today amen 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 now our first prayer point our first prayer point blood of jesus scatter every case of disfavor and joblessness running in my life in the name of jesus blood of jesus scatter every case of disfavor and joblessness running in my life in jesus name blood of jesus scatter every case of disfavor and joblessness running in my life in the mighty name of jesus we command the blood of jesus to begin to flow right now scattering every yoke scattering every case of disfavor every case of joblessness every case of stagnancy in the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, scatter every case, scatter every case, begin to speak better things, begin to speak new covenants upon our lives, begin to speak new covenants upon our careers, begin to speak new covenants upon our businesses. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, scatter every case, every case of disfavor, every case of joblessness running in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every case of joblessness, let every every case of disfavor let it scatter every yoke i command you to break every yoke upon my life every yoke of disfavor i command you to break i command you to break i command you to break break by fire in the mighty name of jesus by the power that is in the blood of jesus i command every yoke to break by the anointing that is in the blood of jesus i command every yoke of disfavor break in the mighty name of jesus break in the name of jesus break in the name of jesus Jesus, you yoke of disfavor in interviews, you yoke of disfavor even in my organization, in my company, you yoke of disfavor upon my business products. I command you to break, I command you to break, I command you to break, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, where there was disfavor, I speak favor right now, I speak favor, I speak favor. 
the glory of God. I declare and I decree the glory of God shall be upon me. The glory of God shall be upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, you yoke of disfavor, I command you to break right now. Break by fire. Break by fire. Break by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want you to say blood of Jesus. Break every ancestral case of poverty. Blood of Jesus break every ancestral case of poverty working in my life every yoke every yoke of ancestral case every ancestral case upon my life of poverty every ancestral yoke of poverty upon my life i command you to break i command you to break i command you to break i command the blood of jesus to transfuse with my blood right now breaking every case that is in my bloodline breaking every ancestral case that is in my bloodline in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, the poverty that was upon my forefathers, the poverty that was upon my grand my grandparents, the poverty that was upon my parents. I am not your candidate. I command this yoke to break. I command the yoke to break. I command the yoke to break. I command the yoke of uh, to break. In the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus in my bloodline. I plead the blood of Jesus in my bloodline. Let it break every ancestral covenant. Let it break every ancestral covenant that is assigning me to poverty, that is assigning me to joblessness. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus begin to flow in my body, begin to flow in my body, begin to speak better covenants, begin to speak better covenants, begin to speak better covenants, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I decree, my blood is now transfused with the blood of Jesus, my blood is now transfused with the blood of Jesus every ancestral case I am not your candidate you ancestral case of poverty you ancestral case of joblessness, I command you right now to break. I command you right now to break, 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 break in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to pray, blood of Jesus, scatter every embargo against my career breakthrough blood of jesus scatter every embargo against my career breakthrough against my business breakthrough in the mighty name of jesus i command the blood of jesus right now to scatter every embargo to scatter every embargo against my career breakthrough against my business breakthrough in the mighty name of jesus blood of jesus flow like a storm flow like a flood flow like a flood. Scatter every embargo of the enemy against my career. Scatter every embargo of the enemy against my business. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, every stronghold against my career, every stronghold against my career, I pull you down by the blood of Jesus. I pull you down by the blood of Jesus. I pull you down by the blood of Jesus. For my weapons are not canal, but they are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. Every barricade, every barrier that has been standing between me and my career breakthrough, that has been standing between me and my business breakthrough, I command you right now, be scattered by the blood of Jesus. Be scattered by the blood of Jesus. Every mountain that was standing between me and my career breakthrough, I command you right now, melt like wax. Melt like wax. In the mighty name of Jesus, who are you great mountain in front of Zerubbabel, you shall become leveled. Who are you, great mountain, in front of me? You shall become leveled. Be leveled right now. Every embargo from the coven against my career breakthrough. Every embargo from the coven against my business breakthrough. What are you waiting for? Your time is up. Expire. Expire. Expire by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. 
Begin to speak better covenants. Begin to speak better covenants upon my career. Begin to speak better covenants upon my business. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter every embargo. Scatter every embargo against my career. Against my business. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every flaw of joblessness and poverty. Running in my family line. In the mighty name of of Jesus, blood of Jesus, dry up every flaw of joblessness and poverty running in my family line. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus begin to flow right now in my body. Let the blood of Jesus begin to flow in my bloodline right now. Dry up every flaw of joblessness. Dry up every flaw of joblessness. Dry up every flaw of poverty in my bloodline right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You case, you evil plantation of joblessness in my life, you evil plantation of poverty in my life, I command you to wither by the blood of Jesus, I command you to wither by the blood of Jesus, you evil plantation of stagnance in my career, I command you to wither, you evil plantation of profitlessness in my business, I command you right now, wither by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I declare profitless toil shall not be my portion from today. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not toil for end for nothing. I shall not toil for nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break the case of poverty. I disconnect my, my bloodline. I disconnect my bloodline from the bloodline of my family. I disconnect myself from that bloodline. In the mighty name of Jesus, I take in me the blood of Jesus. I take in me the DNA of Jesus. Everything I shall set my heart to do from today, it shall prosper. Every business I set my heart to do from today, it shall prosper because I have in me the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaks prosperity, the blood that speaks progress, the blood that speaks elevation in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to pray and say, blood of Jesus, expose and confound every household wickedness, attacking my job by fire. Blood of Jesus, expose and confound every household wickedness, attacking my career, attacking my business. Every household wickedness, attacking my career. Every household wickedness, attacking my business. I command you right now, be exposed by the blood of Jesus. Be exposed by the blood of Jesus. Be exposed by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus blood of Jesus expose all household wicked enemies that are fighting against my career progression that are fighting against my business expose them expose them expose them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus let them be exposed let them be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus blood of Jesus, with the every evil handwriting, Ma blood of Jesus, with the every evil hand, manipulating and delaying my job breakthrough, blood of Jesus, with the every evil hand, manipulating and delaying my job breakthrough, in the mighty name of Jesus, every hand that is manipulating my job breakthrough, that is manipulating my career breakthrough, that is manipulating my business, I command you to wither, I command you to wither, I command you to wither, wither by fire in the mighty name of Jesus, I command every evil hand that is pointing at me for career stagnance, every hand that is pointing at me for business for, for, for my business to fall. I command that hand to wither. I command it to wither by fire. I command the hand to wither by fire. I command the hand to wither by fire. I scatter every altar. Every altar that is ministering my stagnance in my career. Every altar that is ministering the fall of my business. I command that altar to break. I command that altar to scatter. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Blood of Jesus. Begin to speak for 
for my career. Blood of Jesus, begin to speak for my business. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, if there is any other blood that was sacrificed against my career breakthrough, if there is any other blood that was sacrificed for my business to fall, I command the blood of Jesus to purge that blood. I command the blood of Jesus to silence that blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, I nullify, I nullify every demonic sacrifice that was made against my career breakthrough. I nullify every demonic sacrifice that was made against my business. I nullify it, I nullify it by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak. Every altar that is speaking against my academic qualifications, I command that altar to break. I command that altar to break. I command that altar to break. Every sacrifice of gods, every sacrifice of chickens, every sacrifice of cattle that was made against my qualifications, against my certificates, I nullify such sacrifices. I nullify such sacrifices by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. As I'm ministering, I'm seeing some of you. Musuwa waka graduate au chipiwa certificate rako. There's somebody aka slota wuku. Aka tindichi uraya wuku inda uraya nekeria yake. It will not progress. It's dead. I command right now any such sacrifices. I command them. I nullify them by the blood of Jesus. I nullify them by the blood of Jesus. I nullify them by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Pray for the resurrection power, the resurrection power that is in the blood of Jesus, the resurrection power that is in the blood of Jesus to resurrect careers that have been terminated, to resurrect businesses that have been terminated in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, may your voice be louder than any other voice, than if the voice of any other blood, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the blood of Jesus be louder over your career. May the voice of Jesus be louder over your business. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray and say, now, now I want you to raise all your certificate copies. Now I want you to raise all your certificate copies and CVs. I want you to raise them. I want you to raise them. If you are in business, I want you to raise any representation of your business products and say with me and say with me, we are going to pray together. We are going to pray together. As I raise these certificates, as I raise these, my business products, blood of Jesus, suck and saturate them. Suck and saturate them. Every programming from the coven against the name on these certificates and against the qualifications thereon be scattered right now by the blood of Jesus. Be scattered right now by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, begin to flow over these certificates. Begin to flow over these my business products and exhume all the copies I posted to any organization or company. As you as you bring resurrection to my career, as you bring resurrection to my career, where the enemy had terminated it, if there is any personality sitting on my career seat right now because of, of coven programmings, blood of Jesus, and sit them right now by fire, and sit them right now by fire, blood of Jesus, flow to any company where I called, where I was called for interviews, and erase every 
verdict that blocked my breakthrough there in the mighty name of Jesus blood of Jesus begin to flow in the veins of my qualifications right now begin to flow in the veins of my my business products right now begin to speak new covenants begin to speak favor begin to speak your glory in the mighty name of Jesus blood of Jesus flow with your anointing the anointing that breaks your the anointing that breaks evil covenants, the anointing that scatters evil altars begin to flow, begin to flow, begin to flow. I soak my qualifications in the blood of Jesus. I soak my business products in the blood of Jesus. Let every case be broken. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Blood of Jesus, cancel every satanic verdict upon my resume and credentials. You are going to fire these prayer points. Waka simuza, your, your, your certificates, your qualifications, your, your, your business products. Blood of Jesus, cancel every satanic verdict upon my resume, upon my qualifications, upon my business products. Blood of Jesus, cancel every satanic verdict upon this. Cancel every satanic verdict upon this. Cancel every satanic verdict upon this in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want you to say, blood of Jesus, anoint me to break every yoke of almost there by fire. Anoint me to break every yoke of almost there by fire. Anoint me to break every yoke of almost there by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, Holy Spirit, quicken my job to locate me and quicken me to to be employed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for good speed. I pray for good speed. I pray for good speed in my business breakthrough, in my career breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, flow wherever I have been forgotten and cause them to remember me in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, flow wherever I have been forgotten and cause them to remember me in the name of Jesus, and cause them to remember me in the name of Jesus, flow wherever they have forgotten me and cause them to remember me. Now I want you to begin to mention all the names of the organization and the companies that you have applied to. I want you to begin to mention them. If you are in business, I want you to mention the names of the clients that have forgotten you, that are no longer coming to you. I want you to begin to mention them and say blood of Jesus, flow wherever I've been forgotten and make them to remember me. Make them to remember me. Cause them to remember me. Cause them to remember me. Let this be the season for them to remember me let this be my season for them to remember me in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus now I want you to say blood of Jesus Page my CV for uncommon favor. Blood of Jesus, page my resume for uncommon favor. Page my products for uncommon favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, that will shortlist me in every company where I applied. That will shortlist me in every company where I applied. Page my CV, page my resume. Blood of Jesus, page my CV, page my resume for uncommon favor. That will shortlist me in every company where I applied. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want you to say blood of Jesus. Speak against every power. Programming bad dreams. To minister failure upon or to terminate my career. Blood of Jesus, speak against every power, programming bad dreams to minister failure upon my career. In the mighty name of Jesus, any negative dreams that are being programmed into your life to terminate your career, to terminate your business, I command the blood of Jesus to speak against any power that is programming those dreams, that is programming those dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, begin to speak. 
speak. Blood of Jesus, begin to speak in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now say, blood of Jesus, break every arrow of delayed destiny upon my life. Blood of Jesus, break every arrow of delayed destiny upon my life. Blood of Jesus, break every arrow of delayed destiny upon my life. Blood of Jesus, break every arrow of delayed destiny upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, find me, choose me, and launch me in now I want you to mention the name of the company. Blood of Jesus, find me, choose me, and launch me if it's in United Nations, if it's in um, K Zimbabwe, if it's any, the name of the company, mention the name of the company. Blood of Jesus, find me, choose me, and launch me in this company for greatness. Blood of Jesus, find me, choose me, and launch me in this company for greatness. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want you to say, blood of Jesus, make me celebrate this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, make me celebrate this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, loose me from any power refusing to let me rise in my career. Any power that is holding me down, any power that is tying me down in my career, blood of Jesus, begin to speak for me. Blood of Jesus, loose me from bondage, loose me from bondage, loose me from career bondage. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, loose me from any power that is refusing to let me rise in my career that is refusing to let me rise in my business loose me in the name of jesus loose me in the name of jesus blood of jesus announce me in name of company through my employment letter blood of jesus announce me in then you put the name of the company through my employment letter blood of jesus announce me in this company through my employment letter in the mighty name of jesus announce me blood of Jesus announce me announce me in this organization announce me in this company announce me in this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus blood of Jesus announce me blood of Jesus announce me blood of Jesus announce me in the mighty name of Jesus go before me go before me go before me in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus now I want you to pray and say, Holy Ghost fire, paralyze every tongue, saying, Wadza will never make it. Wadza will never work. Then, Pandati Wadzapa, you put your name. Blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, paralyze every tongue that is saying, I will never make it. Paralyze every tongue that is saying, I will never make it in my career. Paralyze every tongue that is saying, I will never make it in my business. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, Blood of Jesus, paralyze, paralyze every tongue that is saying I will never make it in business. Every tongue that is saying I will never make it in my career. Paralyze it by fire. Holy Ghost fire, paralyze the tongue that is saying I will never rise. Paralyze the tongue that is saying I will never make it. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Then I want you to say, oh God, arise and strike with your fire. The meeting point of witches and wizards over my career breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and strike with your fire. The meeting point of witches and wizards over my job breakthrough, over my career breakthrough, over my business breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, arise, strike with your fire. The meeting point of witches and wizards over my job breakthrough, over my career breakthrough, over my business breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want you to say every agent of witchcraft glued to my credentials, glued to my business products to cause bad luck. Your time is up. Be blasted by fire. Every demonic agent, every satanic agent that is glued to your certificates, that is glued to your business products to cause bad luck, to cause misfortunes. I command that agent right now. Their time has expired. Be blasted by 
by fire, be blasted by fire, be blasted by fire. Every demonic agent that is glued to your certificates, that is glued to your business products, your time is up, your time has expired. Be blasted by fire right now, be blasted by fire right now, be blasted by fire right now. Every witchcraft agent, every agent of witchcraft that is glued to your certificates for, 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 to, to block your promotion, to block your elevation. I command it right now. Be blasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be blasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be blasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be blasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be blasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be blasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be blasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. You, my credentials, now I want you to hold your, your certificates or your business products. You, my credentials, or you, my business products, hear the voice of the Lord. Magnetize good customers to me. Magnetize good jobs to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, my certificates magnetize good jobs to me. My business products magnetize good customers to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me find favor with men. Let me find favor with customers. Let me find favor with 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 company owners let me find favor with companies in the mighty name of Jesus my credentials my qualifications my certificates magnetize good jobs to me my business products magnetize good customers to me magnetize loyal customers to me magnetize reliable customers to me in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah now I want you to say, right hand of God, arise and place my resume and my credentials at the heart of my helpers. Right hand of God, arise and place my business products at the heart of my customers. In the name of Jesus, right hand of God, arise and place my credentials at the heart of my helpers, at the heart of my employers. Right hand of God, arise and place my business products at the heart of my, my, my customers. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the right hand arise. May it put your credentials at the heart of your employers. May it put your business products at the heart of your, of your customers. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now I want you to say... Every deposit and every plantation in my body that is blocking my career breakthrough, that is blocking my business breakthrough, I command you right now to come out by fire. Every plantation within my body that is blocking my career breakthrough, that is blocking my business breakthrough, I command you to come out by fire right now. I command you to come out by fire right now. I command you to come out by fire right now. Out by fire right now. Every Every plantation in my body that is causing rejection, that is causing disfavor, I command you to come out. I command you to come out by fire. I command you to come out by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every plantation, every deposit in my body that is blocking my career breakthrough, that is blocking my business breakthrough, come out by fire. What are you waiting for? Your time has expired. Come out by fire. Come out by fire fire. Now I want you to pray. I want you to pray hitting your stall, your, your belly. I want you to pray hitting your belly. I want you to pray and say, every satanic poison, every demonic food that I ate from the devil's table, that is blocking my career breakthrough, that is blocking my business breakthrough, I command you to come out right now. I command you to come out right now. I cough you out and I vomit you. I cough you out and I vomit you. I cough you out and I vomit you. Every plantation of the devil in my body every food that I ate from the devil's table that is blocking my career progression, that is blocking my business. I cough you out and I vomit you. As you say this, I want you to begin to cough out physically. I want you to begin to cough out physically. In the mighty name of Jesus, every food that I ate from the devil's table, every food that I ate from the coven, that is blocking my career breakthrough, that is blocking my business breakthrough. Your time is up. Come out in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. I cough you out and I vomit you by fire. I cough you out and I vomit you by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, begin to purge my body. Begin to purge my body. Flash out every deposit. Flash out every plantation from the coven, from coven tables. Flash it out. Flash it out. Flash it out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every mark on my body, every mark on my body that is saying she will not rise, she will not make it in her career, she will not make it in her business, be blotted by the blood of Jesus. Some of you have got some marks, some invisible marks on your body that are that are uh, repelling you from any job post, that are blocking your breakthrough for any job or in your business. I want you to pray. Any demonic mark on my body that is blocking my career breakthrough that is blocking my business breakthrough be blotted by the blood of Jesus be blotted by the blood of Jesus any invisible mark on my body on my forehead on my hands on my feet that is blocking my breakthrough I command you be blotted by the blood of Jesus be blotted by the blood of Jesus catch fire right now catch fire catch fire catch fire be blotted be blotted be blotted be nullified by the blood of Jesus be nullified by the blood of Jesus. Any invisible mark, any invisible demonic mark upon my body, I command you right now, be blotted by the blood of Jesus. Be blotted by the blood of Jesus. Be blotted by the blood of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Any deposit in my body that is causing me to be rejected in any company, that is causing me to be rejected by my customers, I command you right now, catch fire and be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Catch fire and be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Any deposit in my blood, any deposit in my blood that is blocking my customers, that is blocking my career progression, I command you be flushed out right now. Catch fire, be flushed out. By the blood of Jesus, be flushed out 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 by the blood of Jesus. Any case that was pronounced against my credentials, any case that was pronounced against my qualifications, I reverse it right now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I decree with these credentials, I declare open doors in big companies, in big organizations. With these products, I declare loyal customers, committed customers, reliable customers, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, from today favor is my name, from today favor is my name, every ground that I've treated with my feet, today I possess, tonight I possess, tonight I possess, tonight I possess, in the mighty name of Jesus, I take dominion, I take charge over every ground, that I have trodden with my feet in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I declare and I decree I declare and I decree every weapon that was fashioned against my career that was fashioned against my business today it shall not prosper from today you shall not prosper from today you shall not prosper from today mission impossible from today mission impossible i declare and i decree from today i shall be the head and not the tail from today i shall be the head and not the tail from today i shall be the head and not the tail from today i shall be above and not beneath from today i shall be above and not beneath in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus from today it is going to be visible that god is with me from today it is going to be visible that god is with me from today it is going to be visible that god is with me in the mighty name of jesus you my credentials you my business products listen to me 
listen to me, magnetize good things, magnetize open doors upon my life, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command you my credentials, I command you my business products, be exhumed wherever you were buried, be exhumed wherever you were buried, be exhumed wherever you were buried, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. If anything happened during this prayer session, if anything happened or if anything is happening just during this prayer session, please just type what is happening before we close our prayer session. Just type what is happening before we close our prayer session. Just type what is happening or what happened before we close our prayer session. Just type what is happening or what happened before we close our prayer session. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. We thank you for the breakthroughs. We thank you for career breakthroughs. We thank you for business breakthroughs. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you that we are going to be above and never beneath. We thank you that we are going to be the head and not the tail in our businesses and in our careers. We thank you for open doors. We thank you for breaking every case that was upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you. We thank you for giving us dominion. Abdominal pain and vision of the combine that I was almost there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are delivered. Betty Butler, I vomited. We thank God for that. Makatende Kajayo, oh, my ring ping, I was painful. Always does that when you start teaching and prayers. Be delivered. Be delivered from that spiritual husband right now. The spiritual husband that is blocking your career breakthrough. Be delivered right now. I command that ring to break by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My right hand was heavy during prayer. We thank God for that deliverance. My right hand itching, that's deliverance. We thank God. Thank you, Jesus, for the deliverance. My whole body was shaking, especially my head and tears were falling. We thank God for that deliverance. My right hand, Ratanga Kurwaza Nekusheka. We thank God for the deliverance. Itching eyes, sharp hands on my left side. I vomited in Tukubai Wamlumbu. And holding certificate was numb. We thank God for the deliverance. Senati Mguti, go and be distinctive and outstanding in that interview. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I vomited. Nekuvari wa muviri. Farah Gandizano. That was deliverance. We thank God for that. We thank God for that. Saum Machendambuya. I vomited. We thank God for the deliverance. We thank God for that deliverance. So thank you, good people. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for this live stream. We don't have a uh, midnight Christ tomorrow. We shall meet again on Monday. Same time, we'll be declaring and pleading the blood of Jesus upon our marriages or for those who are not yet married upon our relationships. My Thelma, I vomited. We thank God. My Mutacha Buddha, my upper back is heavy. I command that satanic arrow that is blocking your progress. I command it to jump out of your spine in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, wonderful people. Thank you. I love you all. Have a wonderful night. Let's meet again on Monday, same time. God bless you.